Good morning. Welcome to Cascade Christian Church 2022. Sorry for the have to do the remote thing here. Um, I hope you all are doing well. The, the elders and I had made a decision yesterday to not have live church today. Just simple fact that it's still pretty nasty out there. The parking lots, you know, they got six eight inches of really slick snow. The roads aren't all that good. So we really prefer that you stayed home and stayed warm and safe. But I wanted to give you a message of hope that the Lord has given us through His Word. And I hope that you listen and pray upon it in your heart. And that 2022 turns into a year of new things for you. Let's start off with prayer. Father, thank you so much. For this opportunity and this ability to reach out and spread your word and to give encouragement from your word to your people, to your chosen, to your loved. Father, thank you for this time. I pray everyone is safe and sound, warm and well loved. Thank you so much. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Now, I'd like to start off with, with we're going to read a little bit out of uh, Isaiah chapter 43. If you've got your Bibles or your devices with you, you can turn to Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1. We're going to skip around a little bit in, in this chapter, and we're going to end up in 2 Corinthians. And um, I, probably, I promise not to get too long-winded. You can always uh, pause me and go get a soda or something or coffee. Um, not like in real church, I don't pause. <laughs> well, not very well. Anyway, you got your device, your, your Bible ready? Let's start off with chapter 43, verse 1 of Isaiah. It says, But now thus says the Lord, Who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel? Fear not. Remember this? <laughs> we just talked about it before Christmas. Fear not. For I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flames scorch you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I gave Egypt for your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba in, in your place. Since you were precious in my sight, you have been honored, and I have loved you. Therefore, I will give men for you and people for your life. We'll talk about that in a moment. Jump down to verse 7. Everyone who is called by my name, whom... I have created for my glory, I have formed him, yes, I have made him. Verse 11, I, even I, am the Lord, and besides me there is no Savior. I have declared and saved, I have proclaimed, and there it was no foreign God among you. Therefore you are my witnesses, says the Lord, that I am God. Indeed, before the day was, I am He. And there is no one who can deliver out of my hand. I work, and who will reverse it? Hmm. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. For your sake I will send to Babylon and bring them all down as fugitives, the Chaldeans who rejoice in, in their ships. Verse 15, I am the Lord. Your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Thus says the Lord who makes a way in the sea and a path through the mighty waters, who brings forth the chariot and the horse, the army and the power. They, lie, they shall lie down together, they shall not rise. They are extinguished, they are quenched like a wick. Verse 18. Do not remember the former things, 
nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now I shall spring, now it shall spring forth. Shall you know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. What is he talking about here? What is he talking about here? Hmm. You know, I want to go back to verse 1. God is declaring that He is the Creator. That everything comes from Him and that He has redeemed you. He's, he's redeemed Israel. Do you understand what it means to be redeemed? And He's talking about Israel at this point. But He's talking also that when He makes things new... He's going to do a new thing. And he's talking about Christ. And when he says in verse 4, Therefore I will give men for you and people for your life, we know of one in particular that he gave, that he redeemed us with the life of his Son. He is our Redeemer. He is our Savior. We're not just talking about Israel. We're just not talking about Judah. Verse 7, Everyone who is called by my name, whom I have created for my glory, I have formed him. Yes, I have made him. God is our creator. God is our savior, our redeemer. And he's going to make something new. Down into verse 8, back to verse 18. He says, Do not remember the former things nor consider the things of old. When he's talking about making things new, he's talking about making a new covenant in Christ. The former things will pass away. The new things in Christ, the new covenant, he's going to bring forth. In, verse, in Revelation chapter 5, he says, I'm going to make all things new. Interesting. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, starting in verse um, 17, he says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. All things. If, you are, if anyone is in Christ, See, when God's talking to Isaiah, he's prophesying that he's going to make things new. He's telling the people that he's going to refresh. He's going to bring about a new covenant. Well, we're not Israelites. We're not descendants of Judah. We're Gentiles. He also tells us in Isaiah that he's going to make a light dawn to us and a new covenant in Christ. I want to ask you, what's 2022 going to bring new for you? How are you going to make 2022 new? Well, don't lean on your own understanding. Lean on the very words of Christ. It says that if you are in Christ, remember those little powerful words in the Bible, the ifs, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Those are very powerful words. Are you going to choose? Are you going to choose Christ in 2022? I know many of you have accepted him as your savior, and you have been redeemed by the blood of Christ. But it's a daily thing. It's a daily choice to continue to, to choose obedience in Christ. Make 2022 a new year. A new year of hope. A new year of spreading the message of Christ. Of helping Christ grow the kingdom. You are a new creation in Him. The old things 
have passed away. The old life, your history, your past, whatever. Call it 2020, 2021. It's gone. Now you've got a whole nother year to look forward to doing things in Christ, for Christ, and about Christ. I look forward to working with you all and worshiping with you this year. I see some exciting things coming. Hopefully we can get through a pandemic. Hopefully we can get... Hopefully we can reach the one heart that God is looking for. That's all we're looking. That's all we need. One heart at a time. This body, this family of believers that we have here at Cascade Christian. We may be small, but we, all, we are mighty. The love that you have for one another and for Christ is so evident. How about this? 2022, we make it also evident to the community of Cedar Woolley. We make it evident to the people around us. What do you say? On that, I'd like to close in prayer and just say from my family to yours, it's a pleasure pleasure and a privilege to to serve and to be a part of this ministry with you all thank you heavenly father thank you so much for this family thank you that you are making everything new that you make us a new creation and that we can let the old self and the old just go because you have made us new you have redeemed us in your Son, in the blood of the Lamb. Father, for that we are grateful. We worship. We worship your name. We worship your word. We worship the things that you have done, are doing, and promised us that you, will con you are going to do. And that's the hope we rely on. The hope of eternity in you, with you. Thank you so much. It's in the powerful name of Jesus. And the people said, Amen.